how to write effective email subject lines with the subject line research tool by MailChimp. Hey ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's Jacques T. Morris here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I wanted to provide you with this value-driven video because if you're doing email marketing, I know from personal experience that at times it can be quite challenging trying to come up with an effective email subject line. Well, whether or not you use MailChimp it really doesn't matter. Why? Because you can actually set up a free account with MailChimp and use their subject line researcher tool for absolutely free. So let me go ahead and log in and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So when you log into the back office of MailChimp, it's going to look like this. What you want to do is come right here to send a campaign and then you'll put your information in. Now notice this right here, email subject. Now I'm not going to put anything in here right now because what I'm actually doing this video for is to demonstrate how the tool works and how you can effectively become more productive and more efficient in creating your email subject lines. So how do I write a good subject line? So you come here and then you click on here, subject line researcher. Again, this is a tool. Now, one of the keyword combinations that I've found that works really, really well is simply just typing in the word no. That's N-O. So type in the word no and then click search. Now, with this particular tool, as it says here, you can do one term or you can do one phrase per line or you can do three terms per phrase. What I found to be effective is that one, two, usually no more than three word combinations work best. So I typed in the word no and notice all the different combinations that it comes up with and it gives you different star ratings. So you have five stars and obviously if five yellow stars are filled in, that's going to be the best, right? Right. If there's four, that's still good. If that's three, then, you know, that's about halfway, one to two stars. You probably don't want to use that particular combination. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, Jacques, I don't have anything to do with the funeral announcement. Well, what about when you're sending out an email and you use the word phrase special announcement? Again, very, very effective. What about huge announcement? Important announcement. Important note. Finalists announced. Big announcements. And let's scroll down here some more. Let me just, okay, so let's look at some of the four stars. Let's see here what could be effective. Now open on Facebook. Now open in your inbox. So you can see there's a number of different ways that you can utilize these keyword combinations to create more effective email subject lines. So I hope you got value from this particular video. If you did, please make sure you go over and visit jacquetmorris.com. Again, that's jacquetmorris.com. You will actually see that link below this video in the description. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next video training.